In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use tabs in Webflow. So, whether you're new to Webflow or just looking to refine your skills, this guide will help you create seamless and dynamic tab interactions for your website. To kick things off, we need to dive into the Webflow editor. Open your project in Webflow and let's get started. On the left hand side of the screen, you'll notice a panel filled with various elements. This is where all the magic happens. We're specifically looking for the tab element here. If you're having a hard time finding it, don't worry. There's a handy search bar at the top of this panel. Just type in tab and it should appear in the search results. Once you've located it, go ahead and click on it. This will add a tab component to your project. Now before you move on, take a moment to familiarise yourself with the tab settings. You can find these settings in the right hand panel. Understanding this interface is key to effectively customising your tabs later on. Next let's focus on individual tab items. Find tab 3 and click on it. After selecting it we move to the ease option to set how our tabs transition. Click on it and then choose the ease in out option for a smooth transition effect. To make sure you have all the flexibility with your tabs, Click on show all settings in the right hand panel. This will reveal more settings options. If you wish to create additional tabs, simply click on add tab. This allows you to expand your tab set as needed. From here you can adjust the layout and presentation to suit your design preferences. Attributes are a crucial part of managing content within the tabs, so input any desired attributes as necessary. These might include interactions, data sets or other custom settings that make your tab unique. Don't forget to also type in the values for these attributes to ensure everything functions as intended. Once you've configured your tabs, hover to the settings icon again, and this time select style. This step allows you to refine the visual aspects of your tabs, including colours, typography and overall design. Adjust them to fit your brand's aesthetic. If you wish to incorporate images, click on choose image. Select your desired image and then adjust accordingly to ensure it blends well with your content. Finally, it's time to bring your new tabs to life. At the top right, click on the Publish button. From there, you select Publish to Selected Domains to make these changes live on your website. Once done, you can close the panel and admire your newly implemented tab functionality. And there you have it. You've successfully learned how to use tabs in Webflow, equipping your website with more interactive and organized content. Practice these steps and soon you'll be a pro at integrating tabs into any web project. Thanks for watching and happy designing.